Welcome to the Microsoft Entra Verified ID Learning Series. Microsoft Entra Access Package is a powerful tool for organizations to manage and automate access to resources like applications, groups, and SharePoint online sites through workflows, approvals, and audits, streamlining the entire access lifecycle. In certain cases, organizations may want to require additional identity verification from users requesting access to groups, teams, Entra applications, and even requesting access to Entra roles. Such verification could include a training certification, employment status, or proof of citizenship. This is where Microsoft Entra Verified ID truly shines. By integrating Verified ID with access packages, organizations can make access decisions based on verifiable and trusted credentials. Hi, I'm Jay Maharaj. And I'm Yolovitz. We are product managers with the Microsoft Identity Protocol. And in this video, we'll show you how to configure and enforce Verified ID requirements in access packages, adding a critical layer of trust and automation to identity governance. Whether you are new to Microsoft Enter Verified ID or looking to enhance your access lifecycle management, this guide will help you to get started with confidence. We will start with a quick overview of the solution, followed by a demonstration of the user experience, along with instructions on how to implement these capabilities within your own tenant. Access packages in Microsoft Android Governance and Title Management streamline how users gain access to resources. Instead of manually assigning permissions to users, administrators can create an access package that bundles together enter roles, security groups, and resources. These resources typically include Microsoft 365 Teams, SharePoint Online Sites, and applications. When a user needs access, they can request a package through a self-service portal. The request may be approved by designated approvers, such as project manager, employee managers, or they can set for automatic approval. Once a request to the access package is approved, the system automatically grants the user access to the resource defined in that package. Users receive a confirmation email and can view user granted access in the self-service portal. At this point, the user has full access to the resource and they can begin using them immediately. With a basic grasp of Microsoft Entra Access Packages, we can now explore how Verified ID can be integrated into Access Packages policies to perform a assurance verification with FaceCheck. Within the Access Package policy, administrator can require users to present one or more Verified ID credentials issued by authorities that the organization trusts. These credentials are used to verify users' attributes, such as employment status, completion of training, or work authorization. And for scenarios that require higher assurance, administrators have the option to enforce FaceCheck. FaceCheck is a privacy-respecting fashion matching that allows the organization to perform high assurance verification securely, simply, and at scale. FaceCheck adds a critical layer of trust by performing a facial matching between a user's real-time selfie and a photo stored in their verified ID credential. It helps prevent personators from accessing resources by verifying that the person presenting the verified ID is indeed who they claim to be. To make it easier to understand, I will now hand you over to Jay, who will walk you through the solution. Meet Alex, an employee at Woodgrove. Today, Alex needs access to a project to manage sensitive customers' data. Alex's organization, Woodgrove, requires that all participants, before they can be onboarded to this project, successfully complete personal data handling training conducted by Nova Lane Academy. It's a fictitious external training platform used by Woodgrove. Therefore, prior to requesting access to the project, Alex goes to the Nova Lane Academy training website. He signs in with his Nova Lane Academy credentials. Then he scrolls through the available courses and sports the personal data handling training module. With a click, the course begins. He listens to the voiceover, reads the slides carefully, and completes the interactive exercises and a quiz. To confirm Alex has successfully completed the training, he selects the Receive Credit button. This credit isn't just a downloadable certificate. It's a secure, verified ID credential that can be validated by his organization, Woodgrove, or any other organization when needed. His name appears on the screen and cannot be changed. Alex uploads his profile picture, knowing that it serves as recognized proof of his successful completion of the training. Then he submits the request to receive his credit, which will start a verified ID issuance request. On the left side of the screen, Novaland presents a QR code and instructs Alex to scan the QR code. 
on the right side of the screen, Alex uses the Microsoft Authenticator app to scan the QR code. Next, Alex is prompted to add the verified ID credential. The app displays the name and domain name of the organization who issued the credential. So Alex can trust and accept the new credential. To continue, Alex selects the next button and the new Pestel Data Handling Certificate is added to the Authenticator app. Alex can select the verified ID credential to view its details, including his name, profile picture, the issue of the credential, issuance date, and the expiration date. The expiration date indicates that the credential remains valid for one year. After a year, Alex will need to go through this process again. With credentials in hand, Alex is now able to request access to the desired access package, which will provide him with the access to the resources he needs. So Alex navigates to the My Access portal at myaccess.microsoft.com. He enters his organization's credentials. Then he completes the multi-factor authentication as required. In the My Access portal, he selects the access packages link. From the list of access packages, he selects the access package he wants to request access to. He reads the details and selects the request option. Since this access package requires him to present a verified ID issued by Nova Line Academy, he should see an information banner. To continue, he selects request access, and a QR code will be presented asking him to share the verified ID credential. As previously presented, on the right side of the screen, Alex uses his mobile phone to scan the QR code, where he is prompted to share the credential. Since face check is required for this access package, Alex needs to perform a real-time selfie check against the photo stored on the verified ID. The face check usually takes several seconds, and the person may need to take actions like smiling or tilting their head in different directions. In the final step, Alex is prompted to share their verified ID credential. Now that Alex has successfully presented a proof of completing the personal data handling training, Alex returns to the My Access portal and submits his access request. This access package is set to automatically approve requests. Therefore, the request is automatically approved without needing to involve his manager or an administrator. For access packages that require manual approval, approvers can view the claims associated with verified IDs shared by Alex and either approve or reject the request. After the request is processed, Alex opens the access package containing the project resources. He can see that he has been assigned the role of team member and has access to the project's SharePoint online site and an application he needs for his job. He navigates to the team's SharePoint online site. Cool. Within the span of just a few minutes, Alex has been given access to the resources he needs to do his job. With automated approvals, Alex easily and securely accessed his team's resources without needing manual approval from a manager or administrator. As we have just demonstrated, Microsoft Entra Verified ID confirms specific identity attributes such as employment status, government-issued ID, or training completion by verifying that they were issued by sources like Nova Land Academy. The face check process verifies that the individual presenting the verified ID matches their claimed identity. Following this, you all will demonstrate the underlying settings of this solution so you can implement it in your own tenant. Before you create and configure an access package, make sure you have Microsoft Entra ID governance license or Microsoft Entra suite license. You can check the licensing at https colon slash slash admin.microsoft.com. For more information about the required licensing, please check our documentation. To create an access package, open the Microsoft Entra Admin Center and sign in using an account with a global administrator role. From the menu, select ID Governance and then Entitled Management. In the Entitled Management, select Access Packages. Then select New Access Package. Enter a name for the Access Package and a description. Both the name and the description will be displayed to users who request access. Then select Next. Under the Resource Roles tab, add some resources to this Access Package. 
In this example, I add a Dynamics 365 online application and specify the permissions associated with the application by selecting a role from the drop down list. You can add more resources like a SharePoint site and again, specify the role associated with the SharePoint site. On the Request tab, you can specify who can request access, the approval workflow, and the verified ID requirements. For example, under users who can request access, select for users in your directory. And then select the users or security groups who can request access. For this demo, disable the require approval, so users' request will be automatically approved upon presenting their verified ID. In the required verified ID section, select Add Issuer and enter a domain name of the issuer. In this example, we choose the Nova Learn Academy. If the verified ID credential is not listed, check that the credential has been published to the Microsoft Entra Verified ID Network. For this demo, we select the personal data and the link credential. Select Add to add the verified ID requirement to the access package policy. You can select multiple verified IDs from a single issuer or multiple issuers. If you choose this option, users will be required to present all the credentials you specify in the same request flow. To enforce face check, select Require face check. It will prompt users requesting access package to perform a real-time selfie check against a photo that is stored on their verified ID. After selecting the checkbox, you will be prompted to choose a claim name containing the profile picture that will be used for the face check. There are more options available to you, like request or information, where you can collect additional information and attributes from users. Configure the lifecycle of the access package, like access package assignment expiration. Notice the default is one year. This means that after a year, the assignment will expire and users will have to complete the training and request access again. Custom extension lets you plug in workflows built with Azure Logic Apps. In the context of Verified ID, when a custom extension is invoked, the request payload will contain information from the presented Verified ID, enabling you to perform custom business logic based on the attributes of the Verified ID. For further details, please refer to our documentation. For this demo, you can leave the default settings. Then select Review and Create. Review the configuration, especially the Verified ID section, for the Verified ID requirements. Then select Create to create the access package. Well done. Now that you have completed the configuration of the access package, both internal and external users who are assigned to this access package may request access and will be guided through the identity verification process, which includes presenting the required verified ID credential and completing the face check. These same flows can be used for your external B2B guest users, such as your partners, vendors, and suppliers, and to conduct high assurance verification during onboarding and when managing access to resources and roles. Now that you are familiar with identity verification flow, consider using the Microsoft Entry Identity Verification Partners. These third-party providers specialize in user identity verification using methods such as government-issued document scanning, and biometric analysis. They are fully integrated with the Micro Entra Verified ID platform to issue secure Verified ID credentials to protect access and reduce the risk of fraud. For more information, go to aka.ms/vid/training. Thanks for watching and see you soon.